you're not going to like my answer here, Ben, but that's the way it is, buddy. At the moment, there's just not much in that category. Uh, and in different parts of town, that gap is defined a little differently. It could be 275 to 300. It could be 300 to 350. But he, he's he's not far off at all just saying, look, between 300 and 325, uh, it seems like there's just nothing. What's going on? Now, uh, this data changes every day. But let's just refer to that as the gap between the entry point and the midpoint of the market. W whatever that looks like, whatever the numbers are in different parts of town, different cities, um, that gap is very real. Equally true is the absence of the entry point in many, many, many parts of town. But let's just speak specifically to this gap. Whatever the entry point is, in most areas of DFW, historically, it's been like under 200. Now it's under 300. Those are still, regardless of market conditions, those are almost always highly competitive homes, right? Uh, they're the most affordable homes. They're the homes where more people can pay cash, more people can put more down, more people can get financing. It's just more accessible, available. It's like more people can shop at the dollar store than at Williams Sonoma, right? It's just more people can pay a dollar than $800, right? So the reality is in any market, seller market, buyer market, stable market, uh, that, you know, uh, economic downturn, upswing, whatever, that's where all the, that's where so much of the activity is. So to say to Ben, you know, what do you do about that gap? There's not much you can do about it. Like you can be super vigilant and really patient and wait for the rare occasional property to pop up in that gap, but it's likely to be highly competitive to get it. Or you can maneuver your finances in a way that you could potentially go up in price outside of that gap or adjust your expectations a little bit so you could go down in price below that gap. That doesn't mean that patience isn't wise. For most of us, there are periods where waiting is the smarter thing to do. But there are also times where it's time to strike and act. And for Ben, if now is the right time to make a move, but there's not a property in that gap that you're hoping to shop in, one of those two adjustments is probably wise. Can you maneuver your finances in a way that you could afford a little bit more and go up above that gap? Or can you adjust your expectations a little bit where you can maneuver down below that gap and win in one of those categories? either temporarily, meaning for the next few years, or long-term, where you're happier with a smaller home that maybe you remodel, maybe you add on to, maybe you adjust expectations, or you're happy with something larger or more expensive and you make other sacrifices in your financial picture. What say you, Mari Mari? I, I agree with that. Um, I, I'll use numbers just from Fort Worth side since I'm a Love Fort numbers. Worth specialist. Um, but when you when you look at the low 300s you have two big categories of buyers that are that are wanting that have that demand um you've got first time home buyers if you look at the last few years the average mortgage payment was around $1900 mm -hmm. so if you take average interest rates you take you know put 20% down that that's going to put you right around that 300 to 350 mark yep now i mean 300 to 400,000 that's you know, you, we've got a lot of homes out there at that yeah. at that part, but those might those typically are on the higher end of the three hundred thousand. So, I know in Fort Worth, the average price point, um, sell price point, is around three sixty five. Mm -hmm. And so, anything under that, you've also got, like you said, those those cash buyers, those who are looking for investment properties. So they're going to want to buy on that lower end where they can either flip it and sell it at a profit, or rent it out for a price that's going to turn a profit, right. if that makes sense. So so because you've got such high demand, but but low inventory, you've got houses out there that are really selling for much higher than that, but you have people who are all looking at that low amount, even when houses do come on the market, you've got you've got some competition. Yep. So that could be, Ben, why you're not finding what you're looking for is you're looking for something that really is selling at a higher price point. Um, but if you're if you're willing to adjust, then you, you, you're gonna have some competition, but I guess that's where a good agent comes into play. 